going to talk to you about uh, the all of the water posts that oh. Jeremy's doing. We don't have to do that right now, but I'm just curious. A lot of people are like around the company were even like, "What's going on?" And I was like, "Honestly, don't know." Like, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure you've heard of the Keystone XL pipeline, mm -hmm. which was postponed by President Obama, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, that now it's the postponement or whatever you ca you would call it is over now. So now they're looking to put this pipeline in, and it just happens to go through sacred native burial sites and sacred religious sites and not only that but it cuts through the mississippi river right above um it through north dakota and obviously if the pipeline bursts or if it has leaks it's going to ruin the water supply not only to the reservation but to pretty much everyone south of where that mississippi river flows and i mean from from my perspective and my partner's perspective, from TBL's perspective, it's unfortunate that the it almost feels like they're cutting through the reservation or they're cutting right through there because, I mean, it, it wouldn't go through a suburban area, right. a, a non-native area, um, just because of the potential concerns or hazards. Right. Um, so you see, it's it's awesome to see Native American, basically Native Americans band together and protest, do a peaceful protest against the pipeline, um, because Mother Earth is sacred, water is sacred to Native American people, and seeing it being leveraged for a pipeline for oil when there's other renewable sources of energy, it's just kind of frustrating, and it's in my mind and in others' minds, it's it's not right. So that's why we support the stoppage of the Dakota Access Pipeline. I like it. Simple, that was simple to the point and water was in the background. So it doesn't get oh, much better than that that's for true. the answer. That was good. Yeah. So what's training like? It's off season, officially. Yeah, so off season, uh, September, probably through till November, the end of November when training camp starts. Gonna be training hard seven days a week, um, six, seven days a week, but also September's a ton of travel. So for instance, right now out at the uh, Nike headquarters, gotta find time, gotta make time to be able to train. And I don't necessarily have a weight room. I don't necessarily have a squat rack or any weight. 